Okay, good grief. Hello, my name is Jess and I am one of the first female rugby league chaplains in Australia. So being a chaplain, you don't really get asked the question, are you okay? It's kind of the given that you ask the question. But I think the most important person for me who's so, so much support, especially over the last few weeks, is uh, Mark Bateman, who is the chaplain for motorsport. And he is just so supportive and he knows what's going on even if you don't tell him. When Mark walks in a room, you'll know who he is. He um, is this big, jovial, happy man. Um, he's got a really contagious laugh. Um, he's funny, he's sarcastic, which I guess that's why we get along. Um, and he always goes out of his way to make you feel special. For me to have someone to talk to and to just debrief and let know what's going on, let him know what's going on is just um, the best thing because, you know, it's a lot to carry when you're a chaplain and um, when you're by yourself, it's hard. If Mark was right here in this room, I would like to say thank you. I would like to say you're the best person I know and I'm so grateful that you're in my life. I'm so grateful that I can debrief and yell and vent and share frustrations and I hope that I can one day be half as good as you and um, be the person that you need to vent and debrief to. The most, the best piece of advice I can give? <laughs> Be genuine, I suppose. I don't know now. Good grief. I'm not that wise. <laughs> oh, I got it. I know what I have to say. Okay, okay. Okay, okay we're on a roll. All right, I got this. Rolling. Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> the best piece of advice that I can give in regards to are you okay or anything that we're going through is that it's not wrong to feel bad and it's not wrong to feel sad and there's nothing wrong with those people they're just ordinary problem people with extraordinary problems and I, you know asking that asking the question are you okay that's a problem shared is a problem hard you don't have to talk it's 80 percent listening 20 percent talking and the rest comes they just open up so you don't have to do anything much all you need to ask is are you okay